Hey, what's going on, everybody? So we are back. I'm editing the video right now as, as we speak. I'm almost done with this, but in the process of that, I wanted to, you can see I'm kind of doing my edits and stuff. In the middle of that, I decided that I should show you guys some of the stuff that I brought on this trip and kind of talk to you about, you know, going on these trips. Um, I was talking to a buddy of mine, Joe, yesterday. He brought up a good point, you know, about kind of sharing the experience on these on these boats, which is no one really does. So that's a good idea. So we're going to go with that. And um, overall, this is my first time on the Spirit of Adventure. It's a, it's a beautiful boat. It's a great crew. Um, and I've been on a lot of boats. I've been on numerous boats. I don't even name them. But you could have the fishiest boat. You know, you catch the biggest fish, catch the most fish. But the crew is really salty and really grumpy. It sucks. You know what I mean? Um, I'd rather go with a good crew um, that just makes you feel comfortable. You know, the fishing was good still. Uh, I know it's early in the season and I'm definitely gonna go back out with these guys. Captain Evan, off the hook. Um, he's super cool. Everybody on that, Mike, uh, Jason, um, everybody. Uh, Guinness in the, in the kitchen. Uh, he makes some, some killer meals there. I wish I would have recorded more of that, but obviously I'm there to fish. But anyways, but um, like I said, I wanted to just kind of share this with you guys. Some of the stuff that you should expect to bring on a bluefin trip. Um, I have a whole bag of stuff for these long range kind of trips and I'm not even gonna get into that. On these, these bluefin trips, it's really simple. You're either gonna get them on some jigs at night on the flat falls or if they're line shy like they were on this trip, it's bait. And you guys know I don't really like using bait, but hey, I needed some fish. My last trip wasn't that great. So I had to redeem myself. So, um, let me just go over this real quick. These jigs, these are your flat, your flat fall style jigs, knife jigs, whatever you want to call them. Um, this is what I used in my last trip where I did pretty well on Top Gun 80. This is like a prototype for what led to this one right here from Agbe Lures, the Hyperfly jig, you know? This thing glows a lot, you know, just, it's crazy. It, it glows a lot, but anyways, this is how it comes packaged. Of course, when I when I got it, I added my leader to it. I got some some leader from Mag Bay. It's a 150 pound leader. I had I had the guys in the boat set it up for me. They crimped it up and put all the sleeves and all that. Um, you obviously want to use some really heavy uh, split rings, and um, we got these uh, these owner right here. I'll show them. Let me get them out of here. These are the ones that I swapped them out with. Put those on there so that way you can just slide your jig on. I did put these huge assist hooks on top and one on bottom because I learned the hard way once I hooked a fish and it wasn't hooked all the way because I had no hook on top. But it makes a big difference, okay? So this is gonna go to your heavier rod, your rail rod. Well, no, it's already glowing, it's crazy. Um, and you guys know what kind of work that is. You drop it down, reel it up, uh, sometimes on the way down, your reel just stops. It happened to me my first time. I was never a believer in using this, this flat fall stuff. I was like, I, I don't like it, it sucks. But the first time I did it, dropped down and the reel just stopped. I didn't know what the hell was going on. Put it in gear and I was hooked up, okay? So now I got a, I got a few toys. So here's another one from Mag Bay that I've used in the past too. Um, and sometimes I don't really care about the color, you know? You know, I have a feeling that, you know, Everybody wants to do glow, and sometimes these different colors just get bit. You know what I mean? This is also rigged up with some, with some heavier uh, floral from Mag Bay, Mag Bay Lures. Of course, your, your traditional, your flat fall, you know, this one works as well. You know, they're all pretty similar, but um, this is a, a new one that I came across when I was down there fishing landing. Um, these are your nice style jigs, what is the SK jigs or whatnot. I haven't used it yet, but I do have one. I gotta replace these hooks. Um, keep hearing, these are the hot thing, and we'll see, you know, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna try and help develop one with my guys at Mag Bay, so we'll have our own stuff pretty soon here. Anyhow, so that's the jigs right there. Um, obviously, swapping these jigs out, the leaders, you wanna have some good little split rings, and these little, little tiny little powerful things from Pitbull Tackle, man, these are amazing, I love them. Thanks to the area over at Pitbull. Those things are, are a lifesaver, okay? Let me slide this out of the way real quick and uh, show you what else we got going here, you know? 
Um, also, another important part of this trip, which I want to be say thank you to uh, the Dirty Customs. He's a local uh, Bay Area guy. He made me these, these custom pliers. You know, he's got the pit bull cutters, but as you see, he's got them wrapped in my favorite colors, orange and black. You guys know I'm a Giants fan. You know, I hang out with the Giants. I take them fishing sometimes. That's cool. You know, he had these. He's made for me, had them ready for me, ready for my trip. You know, got the duck bills, orange and black. Awesome. I use it a lot on my trip. And uh, got them on these Grundins belts and just put it around yourself when you're out there walking around, you know? Um, now, you know, the rods I'll, I'll list in the description, you know? I use all kinds of rods on this trip. So let's just get them all sorted out here. And I'll show you these reels. The reels are the workhorse of you catching these things, you know, and the rod. But, so this was was the big reel that I use on the flat falls, okay? On uh, this is you know Kuma Makaira uh, 30 Special Edition. It's a monster. It's it's a beast. As you guys can tell. Check it out. It's just an epic reel. Um, always wanted one of these, and I finally got it. Uh, thanks to Akuma. But uh, this is what I was using on my flat falls. Unfortunately, we didn't, we didn't really get into a hard jig bite. I didn't get to really catch anything on it, but it's ready to go for my next trip. Two-speed reel. It's got a lot of braid. This is a 100-pound braid on there. Um, so this is what, I, what I'm using for the heavier stuff, okay? And uh, that is paired up with the PCH 4X uh, rail rod. It's a Forester Heavy, okay? Uh, the other one you see a lot in the video is my Okuma Kavala. This is a 12. Um, yeah, this one put a lot of work in for me, you know. Uh, using this for all the fly lining of baits and stuff, that's pretty much what we were doing. And um, yeah, it's a two-speed as well. It's, it's really smooth, really powerful, a lot of drag. Um, and I saved the hook from one of the fish that I caught. And to show you how Simple, how small this thing is. It's a size one hook. Yeah, this is it, you know. It's really simple. I don't have a bait here, but you, just, you put this right through the nose of the, the sardine and you cast it out. You let it go in free spool and kind of try to show you real quick, just a little idea how this works. So, anyhow, you go ahead and cast your bait out. Your bait's going and yeah, you know, it's gonna keep moving and moving and moving. The minute you see that that your line is going real fast, you know, get a few seconds, put it in gear, and you should load up and be hooked up, reel into it. Um, if for some reason you're out there fishing and your bait just stops, what I do too is I'll just kind of do a little back pedal like that, and that kind of makes that little bait fish kind of you know a little wake up call and it'll start moving again. If you do have a bait that isn't moving or just wants to go into the boat, just reel up and switch it out. And be surprised, you know, that that makes a big difference. Um, but really simple. I got a 40 pound uh, floral on this, uh, on this reel, that's my top shot. You can go as light as 30 sometimes. A lot of these fish were, were, were biting light line, 25, 30. Um, I did okay with, with 40, probably should have put on 30. But um, no, it was, it was fun. Um, so this is, like I said, the Kavala from Okuma. It's a 12, a two-speed. I'll put that info in there too. Uh, the other one that I brought with me that I didn't really get to use much because I was I was kind of stuck on that one is this guy right here. It is the Okuma Tesoro. Um, this is this is a star drag reel, and I, I've caught some fish on it before. I got some sturgeon and whatnot, and um, yeah, this is this this is the 10. So I brought this, which is a star drag, for mostly throwing jigs in case we got into a patty, some yellows, and I want to throw some irons. I prefer to use use a star drag. For some reason, I like the way they cast better than a lever drag. Um, and that's also got 65 pound braid on there. And uh, I usually put like a, like a 30 pound top shot or a floro on there. And um, and then uh. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope that helps you guys out. Um, like I said, you can go on these trips, it's it can be overwhelming. You gotta have all this gear. A lot of these boats, they have it where you can rent the stuff, which is cool. But 
yeah, don't be afraid to pick the crew's uh, brain a little bit. You know, ask them some questions, have them help you rig you up. Make sure you're ready before you get out on the fishing grounds and you don't want to be that one guy that's still setting up while the fish are, are coming in the boat. So first thing I do, I hop on the boat, you know, I offload my stuff, I put it in my, my room, my bunk, whatever, and I start immediately working on my gear, putting the rods together, the reels, my leaders, and my jigs ready. Because um, most time you, you hop on these bluefin trips, you're fishing that same night. So travel a few hours and, you know, you're probably laying in bed and you hear the captain say, hey, we got fish under us 200, 300 feet down. And guess what? That's your time to shine. So you gotta get out, you gotta get on them. So hopefully this, this helps you guys out. If you guys have any other questions, go ahead and feel free to put in your comments or, or message me or whatnot. But yeah, definitely go check out the, the other guys on the Spirit of Adventure. Uh, it's a great boat, you know. I'm definitely gonna go back on it. I'm hoping to get back out there late August if I can. So if you're watching Evan, I'll see you guys soon. Um, enjoy the video and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. All right, right here. Later. Hi, fish. Hey, come around, make it port side here. Go ahead and get some baits out if you have any. Big, big school. Huge. color
Watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. They're blowing out, come on guys, hook them. Oh, oh, fish yeah. everywhere. Oh my God, oh, 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 oh. Right, Somebody's lying on me. They're all up and down, high, low, left, right. That was tight. Oh, we got a slack line in that. Good, Deep color. Deep color, deep color. Papi Muñeño. All right. 